so we're on our way to um, Lake George and Canaan. Um, there was a change of plans. Unfortunately, Kenny couldn't make it. Um, he uh, hurt his back, I guess, or something like that. But anyways, yeah, he let me borrow his auger today because, like we all know, my batteries went, are going dead because it's a cheap Walmart drill. But yeah, I had to he head back to the house, get my stuff, and we're on our way now. After I got stuck at the end of my driveway in the snow. <laughs> but, you know, stuff happens. So yeah, as soon as we get there, we'll get everything out. I'll show you what we got going on, and then we'll go pick a spot. I appreciate everybody watching. You know, it's, it's, this has been really fun. Um, been having lots of great comments and stuff, which I say that a lot, which, sorry. But yeah, so I'll see you when I get there. Thanks for watching. All right, we made it. Let's go. been here once or twice so pretty sure there's another boat launch down here where we can park and then we'll go out get all set up and it's gonna be great just remember people even if you have to go by yourself just do it because you never know you can have just as much fun by yourself as you can with others. I don't mind it either way. Depending on how much snow there is, depends on how far I'm going out. It's like quite a bit of snow. get everything together and we're gonna go fishing see you in a minute all right we got all the gear together let's go Check out this side. Watch out for alligators. They come up when they smell pee. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Looks like we got a lot of snow. So. 
we're gonna go all the ways and holy crap. Lots of snow. We're gonna go out there a ways and see what we can do. Worm container. All right, we're gonna get out there a little bit and set up, and then I'll see you in a minute. Oh, gee, look at that. I'm not gonna deal with that way out there. So there's a spot here where people are already set up before I guess. I'm gonna put my ice jack right freaking here, and then I'll walk out and put my traps out but i'm not without the sleds and stuff i'm not charging through all that only to put my traps out that's it so see you in a minute all right she's pretty hard walking out here it's all slushy underneath the snow so we can see my feet look at this Wicked. All right, there's one. Okay, so I've had nothing but issues with this GoPro this morning. Um, it said the battery was dead now, it's saying it's 51% charged. But anyways, beyond that, um, I got my coffee going. That's probably the best thing this morning. Um, when you go ice fishing, you're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days. Things are going to go right, things are going to go wrong. Like today, we get here and there's, you know, a foot and a half of snow or what. Well, anyways, this is the forecast for today. And right now, it does not feel like four degrees. Let's see what it says over here. One degree. And I'm telling you, it's bitterly cold out there. And you can see the frost all over my shack. Trying to get in. It's actually not bad in here. It's nice in here. Um, but yeah, we got all the traps in. They're probably freezing up right now, but I don't care. I'm gonna get warm back up. I'll let you see what I got going on out there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make some coffee, get warm back up. But like I said, you can have issues. You may not have issues. Just bear with it. Don't give up. Let's hope we catch a fish. All right. We're going to get that coffee done and enjoy that. And then I'll probably make a little breakfast here. Um, so, see you in a few minutes. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm trying really hard. Today I'm out here by myself, like I was saying. But, oh well. We'll have some fun anyways. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. It's a lot. I'm freezing. I got water down one boot too, by the way. It is what it is. We'll get that all fixed in a few minutes, so. Yeah. Coffee is almost done. I can't wait. She smells really good. It's some kind of Christmas blend coffee my mother gave me, but it smells like I'm at Dunkin' Donuts. So, yeah. We're gonna pour a cup here in a minute. The best part, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, nothing better.
Let's catch a fish! I don't even care if it's too much to leave me alone. Alright. I'm gonna drink my coffee. Sweet. Welcome to silence of the shack. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like freezing outside. My little heater, it's keeping it so it's nice, but man, she's cold. Look at the, look at the corners of the shack. You can see all the threads where the wind's trying to come through. And we're still waiting for the flags. That's the best thing about ice fishing is the waiting game. You know, I could, I can go to any lake, I can go to any place, but you know, you, it just depends. I, I, I myself believe that it's the luck of the draw. You know, you can put in and and four feet of water, you can put in in forty feet of water, and you might not catch a fish in either, or you might catch fish in both. You know, it's all about the bait you use and the depth you put your trap at at that time and if the fish are there i mean i can, i'm gonna eventually hopefully get those electronic things and stuff but i just enjoy going out and you know it's like scratching a lottery ticket you know some people enjoy that i enjoy scratching mine on the ice <laughs> but yeah so we're just gonna wait and see what happens All right, we're gonna make up some breakfast here. I like to call these, I don't know, everybody has a different name, but hopefully my eggs ain't frozen, nope. But I like to call these eggs in a basket. Other people call them bull's eyes and all kinds of messed up stuff, but I call them eggs in a basket. So we're gonna let those cook for a minute and then we gotta cook these. I didn't have any butter today so I'll use a little bit of olive oil. See how I'll let these cook up and then we'll flip them and then we'll eat. See you in a minute. They're getting there. Almost. I want to gently move them so you don't. Well, maybe we can flip them, I think. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I already broke the yolk on that one, which sucks, but. Look at that. Them. They're going to be so tasty, especially when it's so cold. We're going to take these. We need a little bit more of this olive oil. Look, my olive oil is freeze, freezing. And my dummy didn't bring a plate. Come 
didn't bring no plate. So yeah, these should be done in a few minutes. And then we'll eat. Look at that with the sun from God shining down on them. They are wonderful. And we are going to eat. Look at this. Oh, it's not going to let me break the yolk. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah. That is great. Look at that. You need to take the center and tore out. Dip it in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that going. To give me a little bit more heat. Ugh. All right. Yeah. Well, let's do this taste test. Oh, I don't care if it's hot. Mm. I, I believe food is so much better when you're cold. And you're out fishing or camping, you know, hunting. It's just so much better. Look at that. So tasty. Good. Oh. A little sip of coffee. Which is still hot. Whoa. Perfect breakfast while ice fishing. All right, I'm gonna eat, and then we'll go check traps. All right, if this camera would work, what I was going trying to say is, I never say this, but this here, you see these warnings up here? If you use this in here, I always have the vents open, and I don't keep it on for very long, long enough to cook, shut it off, or heat it up in here real quick, shut it off. But if you leave it on and just sit in here, you won't even know it and you're done. So just remember not to use it forever. I mean, if you turn that on high, it'll heat this place up. Well, this little shack it heats it up in like two seconds and you can shut it off. You know what I mean? So just be safe. I just want to say that because I don't want anybody trying to do what I'm doing thinking I left it on forever and die and then I feel bad. I feel really bad, horrible. So just remember... Safety first. All right, let's go check the traps. You can see what I'm dealing with. Falling right in as a, it's hard here because somebody walked here the day before or something. But you don't hear and it starts. So that's why that and the GoPro wasn't working correctly. That's why didn't get to show you guys all the drilling and all that so sorry about that but anyways at least we got them in I'm check make sure they're not freezing just slushy next it's warmed up too from what was it one to seven degrees <laughs> nobody else out here either it seems like whenever i go fishing by myself there's never anybody else out on the lake i guess it's not a bad thing but ow that one's getting a little a little slushy i should have grabbed a scoop i didn't grab a scoop sorry about this camera deal i'm trying to Right. Oh, I need to put the fly down. Yeah, it looks like you could just walk, but I guess it's a little better when you step in the snow. It's like slush. Watch that. Right here. 
starting to harden up, which is kind of a good thing. But I, yeah, it's a lot of work making videos and trying to fish and have fun. Things are getting better. That one's doing pretty good. Just slushy. Well, those covers really do make a big deal. Big difference. I've been here a couple times and never caught a fish here. I think this is another slow lake, but I've been out that way, pretty much where that green shack is and over towards the shore more. I'm sorry, the green shack and then over towards the shore over that way, but, and out in the middle. But, so I figured I'd just try here, try to make it a little easier, get things going quicker. My, well, oh, this one's froze. Ugh. That, that's not good. Oh no. That one's not in the water. Oh, come on. This trap is ice straight up on me. See that ice? I'm gonna have to get that off in there. Yeah, I know. I didn't bring the scoop. <laughs> Probably people are cringing right now. Like, why? No! Should be in the water now. Oh, nope. Get in the hole. Sorry about the camera again. Good now. Way good now. Perfect. All right. Let's see what we got for battery life. All right, we're still good. Yeah, this is what I'm dealing with today. My snowmobile should be fixed. Probably the end of this week, so had a leaky chain case. Uh, gotta get a tune up. Getting with my hand again because I'm crazy. You can tell them from me. Yeah. It's a perfectly good ice scoop, but I don't use it. Look at this. are all good and we're gonna go back in get warm and chill out for a few 
and see if we get a flag. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if we get a flag. So, sweet. Flag, if I can get there. Treacherous walking. Got a flag. Yeehaw. Please be there. Sideways. Took my bait. Damn. Well, we got a flag. Sweet. I'm gonna get this back in the water. Well, we got a flag. So that was cool. I didn't feel anything on it. I think it just ran with my bait and took the bait and it's gone. So yeah. Alright. Another flag. We got another flag. Come on, fish. these paths and like that trap was right there so I'm trying to use the snowmobile trail but yeah there's it's tough love out here today but I'm still having fun I'll catch a fish hopefully but that's two flags no fish I, I usually don't even get flags from here, so I'm ecstatic. And if I don't catch anything, it'll be like every other time, and I'll come back. And I will catch something. And I'll come back with my snowmobile. Make this a lot easier. So, sun's out. It's warmed up a lot. It's nice in the shack. Yeah. Come on, fish. All right, guys, so right now it's 11 o'clock, and don't worry, I'm not leaving yet, but every time I go ice fishing, I've noticed some things. When I go by myself, the batteries always won't stay going first thing in the morning. We don't get traps until a little later in the day, you know, flags, I mean, and the wind always starts picking up. I don't know, it's just weird things I noticed. But anyways, I'm just going to give you a view from the other side of the shack. The ice traps are out here. Got some shacks over there. The sun's out nice now. It's actually warmed up a lot compared to this morning. But we've had those two flags. There was all, unfortunately no fish. But what can you do? You know, it could be, you know, I yanked it fit to have its mouth, but I don't think that was the case because when I started to try get it ready to try to set the hook and all that there wasn't nothing there so yeah i think they're just little fish or they're just being finicky but it is what it is yeah i didn't go too far from shore today because the squirrel over there running up the painting table but because they're like like i said because of how the slushy it was this morning it's hard to walk yeah it's 11 o'clock we'll probably stay until one two if we don't get anything by then that means pack up head out until next time but we'll see how it goes so anyways thanks for watching guys you know i appreciate it greatly i say that in every video and probably cringy but oh well it's my video let's deal with it I was in there listening to music.
and making short videos just for something to do. All right, let's see if we get another flag. All right, so we officially used up a can of propane in that heater. And no flags since the last time we talked. I just went out and adjusted the track, sounded some of the holes to see. It's probably 14 to 20 on those last few holes. So we're gonna chill out and see what happens. Woo, woo. Let's have a inside the shack dance party while nobody's here to see me doing it. Woo. Oh yeah, party. It's actually super beautiful in here now. Way better than this morning when it was miserable, that's for sure. But we're bearing through it. We're gonna catch a fish, I'm hoping. Um, doing what I can. Make the best of it. That's all you gotta do. Peace. We got a flag. We can make it there. Without dying first. No, I don't think so. No. What's that? Oh yeah. It's the third one I've had. One of them's just stripped a bait and that was it. Yeah. Yeah, I had a smelt on that one. I saw some snowmobilers earlier. It was frigid this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got here and I was just about freezing to death. Yeah, the last, the last few times I was here, I was out that way. And this morning it was so cold and I had those sleds and this stuff was all slush. I was like, there ain't no way I'm walking all the way out there. Somebody had parked their sledge right there and it was a nice little hard pack spot. So I uh, set it up right there. And I followed the snowmobile trail so I could walk. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I fished Unity uh, at the beginning of the season. Yeah, it caught, some, caught a nice pickerel and a bunch of. Bunch of yellow perch. Yeah. What time did you start this morning? Uh, must have been here about seven or eight. Oh, God, that was cold. oh yeah. God, that was cold. Yeah, I was out in my ice shack. At least I had a heat. You started about seven. Just, yeah. Just you fishing. Yeah, just me. Anything else caught at all today? I haven't caught a thing. Okay. Just flags. You fished last week? Not here. Not here. Oh, I fished last week. Lots of different places. I've been. Did you? I've been all over the place. Yeah. Well, 
I mean, it's it's nice to get out. At least, it's actually at least the wind's not blowing. Today. Yeah, it, it it was cold this morning. I was in there with my cook stove, turning oh, yeah. that on off and on, and then cold. once once the sun came up, yeah. it, it was good enough for my little buddy it here. Was, it was cold. I mean, it was cold this morning. I only caught a few crappie this morning jigging, and that was it. I, I got a question. You're a warden, right? Yep, no fish biologist. Well, fish biologist. All right. Well, this is. Is there a, a distance you're supposed to be from the shore? No. Okay, because I was over to um, Wasakeg, and they were like. Okay, so in Wasakeg, there's a town ordinance. Oh, okay. It's a town ordinance. It's not a state. Right. The reason why they have the shacks, the ordinance on the shacks, is because people were crapping down the holes years ago. Oh yeah. So they. That's the reason why you, you can bring a shack out, but you can't. You're not supposed to be. You can't have a, a hole in the bottom of it. Oh, right. that's the reason for it. I mean, in general, and I've heard a lot of things this year. Did anybody give you a hard time? No, no. My I was with a buddy, and he, he, I started to get ready to set up the shack, and he's like, I don't know if we're far enough from the shore, and I was like, What do you mean? And he's like, Well, you have to be so far away. So I didn't know if it was the same oh, no. here. No, you, know, you like, don't have to be from there either. You try to get on the internet to look up rules and, and all no, this. No, there's no rules and regulations regarding ice shacks and how far, how close you can be from okay. shore. Probably just if you're in a town like like Dexter. No, even that, even that, oh. we're not going to list them. That's oh. an ordinance. Right. It's just not worth it. You can call the town of Dexter. Um, no one came out and gave you hell for it then. Nope. I wouldn't worry. I'd do it again. I wouldn't worry about it. Right. I yep. mean. It's, I heard this year they're allowing people because the, the town's not enforcing it anymore. Yep. Um, I think everyone's kind of learned their lessons. You know, don't. It's a water supply. You don't crap down the hole. <laughs> right. It's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... So that, that was the reasoning for it. I think the last time we was up there, my son and uh, my buddy took the snowmobiles back over to the shore or whatever where there was a outhouse to use yep. it and stuff. Yep. But. And that's the way to do it. I mean, like I said, it, it, you know, people just... Sometimes it, it doesn't take much. Washington keg is interesting too because it's a great smelt fishery. Yeah. You can sit there and you can get in that much water and jig for smelts all day and it's kind of fun to do. Yeah. Um, I remember doing it years ago. We used to have muskrats come up in the shack <laughs> from under the ice. They'd come right up. They'd have a little feed pile there and everything and just back and forth. It was kind of cool to see it. Yeah, I watched. Uh, I've watched a bunch of videos where people yeah. show that I get back to their shack and there's a muskrat living oh, inside. Yeah. There's a muskrat inside the shack. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we just uh, last week, last Friday, I think it was, we were down to. Uh, uh, I always, I always get the name as a uh, mess, mess. Mess. <laughs> okay, so down in down by uh, Oakland. Um, Mesolonsky. Mesolonsky, yes. Right. For some reason, whenever I go to think of that name, I just can't. I was thinking Cook, Mesolonsky. Yeah, yeah, we caught some nice pike down there. My buddy caught a four pounder the other day. Where was this again? Uh, Mesolonsky. Mesolonsky. Yeah, yep. yeah, there's a lot of pike in there. Yeah, we drove right out to the other side. Uh, some friends of his had shacks out there, and they've been catching big ones right yep. off the ridge. Yep. And uh, I, the first day I caught a little one, and the, um, my buddy caught one, and then the next day he caught some. So. Are you fishing with a guy that works? Uh, no, nope, I'm fishing with Kenny, Kenny Hunt. He has, he owns Kenny's Cuts, deer processing. No, I don't know. That's right There's in Palmyra. fishes down there. He was telling me he had a bunch of his buddies come up. Did someone got a 20, oh no, that was Grey Pond, a 21 pounder last week, I think is what I heard. There was a 20 caught on long. There was a 14 caught on long. That would have been last week. Because I saw... I saw the guy who caught the 14 and who caught the 20, and they just let him go. But, yeah, some big pike in there. So you, have you done much of it, pike fishing? Ah, uh, this is my first time for yeah. this year. Uh, actually, my first time going smelting was this year, too. Was it? I went down to Baker's Smelt yeah. Shack. Smelt, smelt Shack? Yeah. yeah. How'd you do at Baker's? Uh, I caught one. I was, I was okay, the first, so, my first time, I was yeah. the only one that caught one. So I went down last week, and it was bunch of us we usually do pretty good i'm not used to how slow it was we got a dozen it was terrible yeah, everybody it was, was saying go up to absolutely terrible been saying go up the road to the other place um, it's usually the other way around worthings yeah yeah worthings it's, yeah, it's usually the other way around that eddie it was deeper there but the closer you can get to the crib work at worthings the better off you are yep. if, you, if you're gonna do it so it's with an outgoing tide the closer you can get to the to the actual area so the, the water comes around it and pushes the smelt right up against it oh yeah and you're sitting right on top of them yeah, the further we... you are down from that 
the harder the eddy becomes. And we had all those house lines in and those didn't do a thing. We, and then we had our jig pole in. And, jig. Yeah, and bam. Yeah. That's all you but need. it was my first one and and so whether we caught it anymore after that or not, everybody was happy because they were like, at least you caught it, you yeah. know, it was your first time. Yeah. But yeah, I've had flags out here. This one hasn't done a thing. And There's a lot of yellow perch out here, small yellow perch. Yeah. Um, I just got into eating them. <laughs> Put your jig stick down when it warms up a little bit and, and you'll catch it. Yeah. Something small, just dip it with an eyeball and a piece of bait or something like that and you'll catch fish. Yeah, I've been here a couple times last year and didn't catch anything and, and it, neither did my buddy. And yeah, last year was a pretty tough year. Um, that's why we're here again. We were here last year too. I think last year in our census, that's all I'm doing. I'm collecting data for the year. I think we saw two rainbows the whole season. That doesn't oh, wow. mean that I can't turn around and all of a sudden, boom, you can't catch a rainbow. But based upon what we saw with our time on the ice, geez, the fish just didn't show. And mm -hmm. then this year, I don't know how many rainbows I've seen. I've seen browns, I've seen salmon, but it is starting to slow down like it always does. Mm -hmm. I, I've been doing a YouTube channel yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's outdoors with Aaron. Yeah. I'm holding the metal detector so you could go on there and you could see this year I've marked them all you know 2022 or 2021 or yeah. whatnot but I've marked them all and I mean you can go on there and see that I marked said what lake I was at and what we caught yeah. like we went over to Atna one day didn't catch a thing and then the pond. Yeah, yeah and then a couple weeks later we went back and my buddy caught a nice 13 inch trout yeah. and that was the first trout I ever seen at that and I'm, I'm from Atna you know yeah. fished that lake all summer never seen a trout come out well don't forget we put those in in the fall right yeah that's what he was in saying in the fall so the, the realistically that's a it's a put and take fishery yeah the fish in general don't really make it through the summer oh. months yeah. so the intent is for us to put larger trout in there so that you can harvest them as ice anglers yeah we could put spring yearlings in but we and we've done that before but the spring yearlings they just don't last yeah, there's a lot of vicious fish in there. Oh yeah. Pickerel. Yeah. I've caught some big pickerel on yeah, uh, lot, right on the border of Carmel and Etna, right in yeah. the lily pads. There's a lot of people now that are doing that. I, I don't I don't even go to I don't even have internet stuff. I mean I just I still have a flip phone. Yeah, yeah, well, I see all these people with all their electronic freaking oh, yeah. fine fish. Oh, I have none of that. Oh, you know, I, I told them, like, I, I honestly, in my video this morning, I said, I said, I, I come out here, it's like scratching a lottery ticket for me. You know, like, you guys go out by that one at the store and scratch it off. I come out here and put my traps in a, a different pattern every time and yeah. sit and wait, you know? That's it. I mean, that's it. I mean, I don't even set traps. I just jig. I think if a lot of people saw what I saw out on the ice, a lot more people would probably jig. Yeah. Just, I've tried a few bad. times, I've just never had any luck. It's, there is a little bit of a knack to it, but once you get used to it, I mean, like I said, it's better than drilling. You know, look how much work it is to drill five holes, yeah. get, your, get your bait, and yeah. get the expense of the bait. And like, I went out this morning, and, and granted, this morning was not great, don't get me wrong. And, and the day before that, or two days before that, wasn't great either. Um, in general, I, I get between 35 and 40 crappy in an hour and a half. Well, and I eat fillet them, and I eat them, and I, I enjoy eating them. But you get accustomed to that, and when you get a five fish, when you catch five <laughs> fish in an hour, you're like, all right, this is just too slow for me. And right. that, that's what happens, and, and that's what fishing is. Yeah. You're not going to always get them in general, but if you look at the wall where I mark everything down, you'll see a pretty good pattern, you know, 40s and 30s, and occasionally, oh, there's your flag again. All right. Hopefully he'll get something this time. Yep. That one's gone up, the one on the end, and this one over here at the end. That's what I'm thinking. It, I go to take it out of the hole and there's nothing there. And we got a fly. See if I can catch it this time. Now, something just playing with it. Cause this is a dead bait. It, the last time it hit it, it ripped the, the bait. Yeah. I don't have a jig. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's what happens, that's why I keep saying.
20. Yeah. Yeah, it, it did not feel like that this morning. Oh, woo -woo. Hopefully there's a fish this time. Not looking good, straight down. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Pickerel. Now, is this something I should keep or let go? I don't want it. He's got my bait. You can have that, buddy. All right. I'll let him go. Get in there. He's good. <laughs> hey, yeah, thank you for the talk. Yeah, if you ever see me out here again, stop by and chill. Yeah, you too. That was the bi biologist. Well, we caught a fish. That's a good thing. So we figured out what was messing with it, though. Yeah, <laughs> you have a good one. Oh, it's just a mess. All right, we're gonna fix this and then I'll put her back in. All right, so I had a nice talk with a biologist. I would have recorded it all, but it was, he was telling me about a lot of stuff, but just basically there's a lot of mess out there. And he said, if you have questions, or if you don't believe something somebody's telling you or somebody said, he said, call them. They don't mind talking and telling you about stuff. So remember that. The state of Maine biologists, they, they would love to, to answer questions. So people are doing the right thing. So yeah, hopefully we got a fish. We gotta have a nice talk with a biologist. And now I'm gonna go in and finish my coffee. And wait and see if we get another flag. Cool. Making up some more coffee. And by the way, I had my lucky coffee cup today. I think that's what changed everything. Because with the last few trips, I didn't have it. And it was iffy. And I didn't catch anything. So, I don't know. Alright. Cool. Make my coffee and hopefully get some more flags. And... If we don't, we might call it. So. Sweet! Flag, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting close to the end of my day. But that's good. Whoa! I didn't get there. Let's hope there's a fish. Alright. Pull it up slowly. Let's go out to the side. And we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yes, we do. Oh. Oh. No, it didn't. Oh. Well, we had him. It wanted that sucker I put on there. Well, I'll drop him back down. Damn. Them are the breaks. This is what happens. You go some weeks and you nail them all day and you get every one, but... Oh well. <laughs> it sucks. I felt like a nice one. I felt like a trout. Almost to the hole when it came off.
Oh well. We'll put it back down, it'll come back. Because I have faith. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, so we've had a pretty good day. It's about almost 2.30 I think. Um, but I've been here most of the day and I've gotten flags and I've gotten one fish. So I'm happy, content. Um, I had a nice one over there. I believe it was a trout, but it got off the hook, right at the hole. It is what it is. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Um, always remember to keep on naturing for sure. And, you know, like, subscribe, and share the videos, and comment. Feel free to comment. Um, other than that, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.